Okay, so here I have um, uh, something you've probably seen before, but we can play with a little bit more. This is uh, two syringes of different diameters, and I have it hooked up with a, a tube from one to the other, and then filled with water, and I try to get all, rid of all the air. So you can see the cool things that we could do. Um, you can push this one in, and that one moves. You can pull it out, that one moves the other way. You can do it this way, and you can do it that way. Okay, but let's look at something else, because there's a whole bunch of cool things you could study with this. Um, <coughs> how about right there? Let's see. Okay, you can't see that, there. Um, so the syringe the, of this, thinner one and the bigger one have the, the ends of the pistons lined up together. I'm going to push this one that way and we can watch both of them move. So you see what happened was this one moved a lot further than that one. Now really we could, we could measure it too. But I'm not going to do that just because it probably wouldn't show up too well in the video. And then I can pull it. I can pull it back. And, and it starts going back. Okay, that's kind of cool. But here's the question. So suppose I take these two like this. Let me move it, move it away a little bit so you can see. Like this. Let's see, is that in the video? Yep. So, what if I push these two together so that the end of the syringe is pushing on the other end of the syringe like that? If I push these two together, what's going to happen? That's the question. What's going to happen if I push, so it's connected by a tube, and I'm pushing these two together like that? Okay, so I'm, I'm going to let it pause for a little bit, and you need to guess. Pause the video.